Good morning. We got Milo here and Maddie here. Um, it is a wonderful day today. It is already 89 degrees and it's just nine o'clock. So welcome to California where things and the weather aren't always predictable the next day. JK, JK. Okay, anyways, so today is a good day because mommy and daddy are going out on a date. And it's been a very long time since we've gone on a date. Um, it's not that we haven't had any time, it's just we're getting accustomed to Michael's new schedule and we love to spend time with the babies and bring them on these crazy adventures with us. So yeah, this morning we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go see Charlie and Chibo, okay? We're gonna go see if they're okay. Okay? Wait, have her give him a kiss. Oh. Charlie, okay. kisses. I will kisses. Say bye, Charlie. Got baby number two here who just took a bath. Look at that nice little hair going on, boy. Update, I'm having a major life crisis right now. I cannot find my scarf. So it's too hot to put makeup on anywhere else. We can into the living room to put some on, huh? Nice eyebrow. <laughs> okay, hi, update. So, babies are sleeping. Maddie has been asleep for two hours now, going on two and a half, and we just put Milo down no less than 15 minutes ago. Um, we took advantage, we got the car ready. Michael right now is um, getting the wagon. Once he comes back in, we're gonna put the babies in the car and head out. We're gonna drop off the babies at my parents' house um, and they're gonna spend the night there. We are going to Hollywood Cemetery to watch Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. If I'm being honest, that's a really long movie so we didn't want to pick up the babies like around midnight because the movie starts at eight o'clock. Um, but I'm really excited. I'm kind of bummed because the initial plan was for me to drop off Maddie and Milo at my parents' house, just be by myself. And the reason why I wanted that was because I wanted to buy Michael some flowers. Because I'm always telling him, like, dude, take me out. and like cracking jokes at him. So we're going to go to the market together. And the plan of action is that I'm going to be, I don't know, I think I'm going to tell him, like, shoot, we forgot a bag. They forgot to give us a bag and run back in there buy some flowers and then go back to the car and get him the flowers. He's gonna be a little shocked, like really made me wait for this, but I'm gonna do a reverse psychology and be like, oh, do you not like the flowers I just got for you? Because you know, sometimes a little switcheroo on the gender roles, you know, won't hurt. So um, yeah, let's take you along. Look at all this laundry I have to fold, but, you know, let's go have fun. You can tell Maddie just woke Milo up. Milo didn't sleep for very long. Okay, we are on our way. Well, you can't see Milo, but he's there on our way to drop off the babies. New trend alert. Make the face your partner makes when they're upset with you. I'll go first. Okay. 
you go. <laughs> okay, yeah. now show me the face you make when you're mad at me. Um. Oh my god, this. <laughs> Daddy setting up. You set up, Daddy. You set this up. That's my seat right there. Okay, Maddie Milo, we're waiting for your father like always. But we finally made it. We're here. Look at our little cute car. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit with your Scooby snacks. Is it? Let's record this for Maddie and Milo. Maddie, my little mommy and daddy are walking through a cemetery currently right now. There's a lot of Jewish people. <laughs> Just in this little section. Oh, we're excited. We're gonna see. Back. We're gonna no, see no, no, no a lot of. On we're gonna see Harry Potter. Daddy's a fanatic. Yeah, it's near you. Okay, Daddy's already getting bit. Let's move. Okay, it's crazy hot. All the water class get a deep bottle of water. One more? Oh, okay. okay. Okay, so let's do this real quick. This is my honest review and my what to expect at Senespia. One, parking. Do not park inside the cemetery. That's just, there's no sense of common courtesy. Just don't. When we were leaving, I kid you not, there were cars who were trying to pull out and we were one of those people that had no common courtesy. You know, if I'm being honest, you know, we were just trying to get out too, but Again, don't park inside the cemetery. You're literally parking alongside the curb and there's no point. I believe me when I say this, the parking structure that we parked at was less than five minutes away. So that's tip number one. Two, expect ants and bugs. So bring a repellent. Um, for the ants, honestly, I guess bring a tarp to lay out and then put your blankets on top because they were everywhere. The moment the movie was done, we were getting up and we had to like dust off all of the blankets and you know, everything we took with us. Um, three, I found it really easy to bring a wagon. So, I mean, it's, again, that's just my personal preference. If you wanna bring a wagon, bring a wagon. If you don't, then go for it, like up to you. But you could basically bring anything into Senespia. If you want to bring a picnic basket, bring a picnic basket. If you want to bring like 30 boxes of pizza, go for it. Um, I do recommend if you want to sit up front, do show up early before the gates open. But other than, other than that, I mean, we entered Senespia like around 637 and there was still a good amount of space in the back and we were able to see the movie and hear the movie just fine. Um, but if you're one of those people that want a good spot, then I recommend you go early. Also, keep in mind 
that you could sit anywhere. So if there's like a teeny tiny spot and it's just you and like your significant other and the spot is like teeny tiny, people will sit there and like make themselves fit. So don't feel embarrassed that you're coming or just in people's little personal bubble. Just don't. But um, yeah, like it was a great experience. I do recommend it. Um, those are the only three things that I have to say about Sinespia. There's porta potties. I don't know how clean they were. I didn't use them, but they're they do have a concession stand. Um, they sell drinks. But I mean, yeah, it's, that's the most important thing you need to know. Those three: repellent, ants, and parking. But yeah, bye. That's all I had to say about this.